Hi guys, it's me Alexis here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be doing a new micro releases of this week. So let's hop right into it. So the first thing was from Beauty Blender. Like I said, Beauty Blender to me, we, we all know how I feel about Beauty Blender. I just am just the uh, about them now. But they're coming out or they're coming back in stock with just basically a different color Beauty Blender. And what bugged me about this release is what Trend Mood posted in her um, post. She says, don't we love to collect all these Beauty Blender colors? Is that really a thing? Like, do people literally just buy the Beauty Blender for a different color? Like, nothing has changed. The style hasn't changed. Just dyed a different color. I'm a little confused, I'm a little shook that we, 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 we try to keep up with that collection of like having to get every color Beauty Blender. You guys, this is absolutely a no. And I just wouldn't recommend you buy a Beauty Blender for a color, not because you need it or need a new one, but because it's a new color. Do you really care what color your Beauty Blender is? If it's going to be dirty with makeup, like does it really matter that it's blue? I mean, not for me. Next thing that I'm excited to talk about in new make releases is from Pure Cosmetics. They're coming out with 100 shades of their Love Your Selfie foundation and concealer. Wow, that is like awesome. Like that's crazy awesome. Um, the only pure foundation I ever tried was the, the, do I even have it? It was that liquid one and it was awful. It was just a mess. It was too thick and the undertones were terrible. And so to see them come from that to 100 shades and they even go fairly deep to fairly light, like to really light. And I also like the packaging of it. It looks like you have the option to pump it and also dip it out and like, use it like the you use shape tape or whatever i like that's a cool option to have um i don't i don't know how it will work but that's what it it looks like from the picture i guess so that's really cool um i know that i can find my shading foundation and i'm not opposed to picking up especially if it's on octoly i feel like i get a lot of my pure cosmetics products from boxy charm or octoly so if i can find this on octoly if they ever post that i would definitely pick this up and try it out like that's that's awesome and if i really really want it for really good reviews i'll pick it up myself this is from manny mua's company um lunar beauty they're coming out with these moon prism powders um, which is like a highlighter basically for $26. Now, really quickly, this is the first product I think he's came out with that matches his brand. This brand to me has been like, like scattered. Like, so the first launch was the, um, it was themed for like a drag queen kind of palette. It was, it was Life's a Drag. And it was like, a, like a drag queen type of thing. Then we had like the goddess collection or thing and now we have like back to like lunar and, and moons and like things like that. So and like most companies have like collections. He never really had like a like a life of drag, life is a drag collection where he just focused on all drag. He kind of just came out with the product and his brand just has no it's just not cohesive. So this is the first like on brand product that I actually got in. Um, like I actually get it and I think that the highlighters were pretty swatched on him and I was like okay I might pick it up I like it it's cute or whatever I, I like I would rather try a highlighter I am actually on the market for a new highlighter recently um the only highlighter that I've been using is the Kylie one I'm wearing it today and I'm like kind of thinking about getting a new highlighter I really really do like that highlighter but I'm kind of like okay let's get a new favorite you know because I'm about I think I'm about to hit pan on this one like really soon like I, I can feel it like getting low on me um but I think I want to try a new highlighter out so I was interested in this and then the the little picture of it on deeper skin tone that it just looks like ashy uh that orange one doesn't really look good it, like it just sits on top of the skin on the deep skinned model I'll have to see it on other dark skinned women to see if it's something that I would really want to buy but just from like that professional picture 
it doesn't even look good so like you know i might give you my money if i like it if it gets good reviews but if it don't then i'm good next is from i think it's from i think it's from kkw fragrance was collab with kylie so basically she's coming out with three new fragrances as a collab with kylie and you guys know my complaint about buying fragrances online I, I like to be able to smell it in real life yeah you can give a detailed um summary of how you think it should smell or what the ingredients are but i need to put it on my body with like like some people use like fragrance detergent and fragrance um like hair products and deodorant and putting a fragrance on top might collide and then you're stuck with something that you paid 40 bucks for that doesn't really work with you you don't like this one gives you a headache so buying things online like a fragrance like that I just wouldn't do so right there obviously like a no if it was at Macy's and I could go to Macy's and smell it maybe okay but since I can't that's already a big no for me but if you're the kind of person who does not like to I guess lose money or chance your money I would not recommend buying this um, because you are gambling with your money here you might not like the smell of this fragrance um, and then it's 40 bucks yeah, I wouldn't pick this up and I wouldn't guarantee and I wouldn't recommend Bales pick it up unless you're okay with gambling with money um next thing I want to talk about that's I guess coming out in the near future is Bieber Beauty um so Hailey Bieber is Justin Bieber's wife and she is taking his last name and making her own makeup company now not to be ugly but I feel like they've been married for about 46 minutes and you're already making a whole company out of his name like that would just be weird to me if I got married on Tuesday you won't see me making a company based off that name on Friday it just is it's just is kind of weird because if you break up in a year you now have this big company built off your ex-husband's name and that's not to say like Kim Kim K like her company is Kim Kardashian West, but it's like it's Kim K though like it still stands alone. And you're doing Bieber Bieber Beauty. Your first name is not even in it. So we like you obviously can attach it to Justin Bieber. I think it's what she wants. I think it's what her marketing team wants is people to attach Bieber Beauty to Justin Bieber and all his fans come there and thing like that. I just don't know. I think it's weird. I wouldn't do it but she's doing it and I really never seen her be like this really makeup goddess and I'm noticing a lot of companies that are influencers are coming out with makeup aren't really makeup goddesses and I, I, I feel like even if Beyonce came out with her own collection I'd be like you she is not a makeup goddess like she isn't really into the beauty and I pretty much feel like if they can't do their own makeup theirself and tell me about each product and what they like and what they don't like they aren't really in makeup they really shouldn't have a company because you're relying on somebody else's skill which is a makeup artist do their makeup to say what's good or bad and what they like or don't like um compared to you knowing what you like or what you don't like i just don't think that it's i don't know the same thing with j-lo and same thing with any other company that's Gigi hadid i just never saw her like that into makeup so I feel like Hailey Bieber, whatever her name was, she just started out with a collab, you know, could pop collabs with anybody, anybody famous. So she got a collab with them, got her feet wet and see something that she wants to be into. But she's already coming up with this skincare makeup line and I'm kind of already like, probably won't buy it. I got a strong feeling it's going to be overpriced too. So just already, I'm kind of just like not excited for it. So yeah. Next thing is from this company, um, Mita Cosmetics. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It is the High Times eyeshadow palette, the greens and oranges. It's so beautiful. I love it. It is only $20. Like, that is my sweet 20. I feel like that's a sweet number for any palette is a 20 bucks. Like, anybody, like, you know, more people carry 20s. A 20 is it's just a, just a good sweet spot price point for me. And the only complaint I have is that this is just in a wrong season. Like right now, I'm into light greens, light blues, light pinks, bright neons. Like I'm into that vibe. So this is just too dark for what I would want to wear this season. But I'm not opposed to picking it up later if I remember it. Um, it's actually sold out right now. So you can't even get it. So I don't know why she posted it. But I mean, yeah. But it's so 
beautiful. Um, I just love the greens and then the, the some of the the jelly bean the jelly bean shade and the OG Kush. Like it's a lot of pretty shades in here that I like. And twenty dollars, like I love that. But um, yeah. Next is this um, what is it? Machino, Moschino, whatever. I don't care. They're coming out with the new collab another one with Sephora and if you're a makeup collector if you collected the last one you're gonna buy this one no matter what I say in this video so you should probably just skip through this but um y'all it's based off like school supplies office supplies and y'all know I go to kindergarten every day if I wanted some pencils I pick up some pencils if I wanted a highlighter I pick up a highlighter if I wanted some glue erasers it's all there it's already there for me. I don't need it in my house because when I go to work, it's going to be chilling there. So for me, like the school supplies theme is just kind of like, I mean, why would I buy this at this? At, why would I buy an eraser sponge at $20 when I can get $1 sponge from Shop and Say and free erasers at my job and just be like, oh, here's an eraser. Oh, here's a sponge and go on my day. That's just how I look at it, though. I don't need makeup to be themed. It is fun. You know, if you like it, it's fun. It's cute. It's fine. But for me, I, I'm, I don't care that much. Um, and they want me to pay $60 for a laptop palette. Y'all. $60 for a laptop palette. I can go buy a charger for my laptop with that 60 bucks and a new case for my laptop with my real laptop with that $60 and to use a palette that looks like a laptop. No, guys, I just wouldn't do that. Wouldn't do that. Um, the brushes are $58. The like pencils, go get some pencils from Walmart for $1.50, call it a day. Get you some regular brushes. They don't have like this weird pointy edge. It's supposed to be fun, I know, but for me, I guess the school supplies lifestyle is just my everyday, so it doesn't really thrill me or is nostalgic because I go to a school every day as an adult, so. Um, yeah, I, y'all, I do like the marker set, like those little highlighter sets. That is a cute lipstick idea. That is unique. I, I can, you know, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't buy none of this. Oh, oh, so, okay, let's talk about Bombshell Cosmetica. Um, they're coming out with this, another food theme, not to be confused with Glam Light, because they're coming out with the same theme palette at the same time, and it's very confusing. Um, but they're coming out with this another food theme and it's the milkshake one first. The milkshake palette is just a full shimmer palette and I never buy full shimmer palettes. Like I'm just not here for it. I like to be able to have one palette in my face, one travel to, pump palette to travel with and just do a whole look with. I hate picking and get, I'm just lazy like that. So yes the Shadows are pretty, but I would prefer them being singles. That way I can put them in palettes where I have mattes and I'll have to keep picking up and putting down. Um, but it's like three of them that I really, really like and others I could be like, okay. And then the thing I hate is when companies use filters, those stupid sparkle filters on their pictures because it looks really sparkly and pretty. And the reality is like a regular dull uh, shimmer shadow you can get from Morphe. So I hate that they do that because it makes it look way, way more appealing than what it actually is. It's just misleading. Um, then they're coming out with this burger, bomb burger palette. Now, it's going to be funny because this burger palette, I feel like this is so unlike me, but it's not even on theme. Like you got a green in there for lettuce, yellow for pickles, but then what's the blue for? And then what's the, you know, like, what's a pink for? What's a, what's the light blue for? They don't really match with a burger. They're kind of just some rainbow, random shades thrown into some cute packaging. They're hoping you're going to buy for the actual packaging, not the product. So, and then the overall, they're just too expensive for my liking anyway for the quality of shades you're getting. There's nothing wrong with Made in China shadows. I love Juvia's Play shadows. But the best part about Juvia's Play shadows is for the price you're getting them. They're really good quality. And... With Bombshell, you're getting Juvia's Place shadow quality, but you're paying a little bit more for something you can get cheaper, if that makes any sense. So that's why I kind of like, mm, you know, I like y'all. Like, it's, 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 it's cute, but the prices just ain't fair for me. So, um, yes, yeah, my only critique for the brand, and 
I probably won't purchase this at the full price. If I can get it for a discount, I think the shades to my collection will be worth it. I can easily depot the shades that I want, like the red, the yellow, the green. But I'll have to get it for an extreme discount for me to purchase this because they're just they're just too overpriced for what you're getting. And last, I feel like y'all can talk crap about me if you want, but here is real tea. I have already pre-ordered this palette and it is also a food themed palette. Y'all, I saw this Burger by Glam Light palette and I immediately jumped on it. I, when it opened up, my, like I love when I see a palette and I can instantly see the looks I wanna do. I hate when I get a palette and I'm like, ugh, I gotta use this shade, I gotta use, I hate that. I love when I open a palette up and boom, I know I can use that shade with that one, this one with this one, that one with that one. I loved it. I love how it has the names on the palette. I just thought it was beautiful. The greens in there, I don't really own any deep, any greens like that. This shade, Blue Cheese, is sickening. Like, it was just, for me, it hit every point in my checklist of makeup that I want to buy. The uniqueness, do I own it? Do, can I dupe it? What's the price? Like, I just was here for it. And I was trying to wait till reviews came out on it before I pre-ordered it, but I I just went ahead and did it. It's free shipping, past 39, so you just pay the 40 bucks plus a little bit of tax and you get the palette. I pre-ordered it on the 18th, which is my birthday, pre-ordered it then, so hopefully I'll probably get it by probably a month from now, so probably mid-May, maybe later than that, because it actually doesn't ship to the 24th of April. So I'm giving it a lot of time. Hopefully they're not like terrible with shipping and it gets here like June 1st. Like I'm hoping hoping like May 18th, that's a month from when I ordered it, will be the sweet spot number for it. But I just was here for it. It's the only purchase I purchased in my low buy. I didn't purchase the um, Riviera palette by ABH and I really love that palette. Um, and I felt like, you know, it was my birthday that day. I kind of was like, you know what, you got a little bit extra money. Go ahead and get it. It's fun, you know, it, it is a burger for some random reason and it looks stupid, yes. It's round, but hopefully it'll be flat and I can put it there. I think it's gonna be extremely large. And I just kept going back and forth, but, but all in all, those colors is what sold me and that's why I purchased it or pre-ordered it or whatever. And um, yeah, I'm excited for it. And oh, with all that being said, that is it for our new makeup releases this week. Whenever I do makeup releases, that means that I had more things that I liked than didn't like. And that's a good, I love liking things. <laughs> I hate, like, sometimes you get so over makeup, it's just the same thing over and over. It just makes me angry and I can't stand just being upset all the time. And I love these moments when I'm, like, happy about makeup and excited. I am willing to give you my money. Like, if I give you my money, that means I really like it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye! Like, do you really care what color your booty bender, your booty, yeah. Um, she's coming out with three lipsticks. Uh, what? Buber, bu, bu, bu I don't know why she posted it, but I mean, yeah. But it's so beautiful. It's so, that is it from Nerve this week. My 